Welcome to Laws Lodge, the Louisville Seminary's newest residential housing building. We, my name is Todd McWhorter. I'm the director of campus facilities, and I really just want to take you around the building and show you what we've been up to. Laws Lodge was built in the year 2000. We've been renovating it since July, and we've been uh, adding things that you'll see in the rooms and the guest kitchen and the study room and the living room. We've been working hard and we hope you're pleased with what you see. Welcome to one of our Laws Lodge suite rooms. That's uh, two standard rooms with an adjoining door. We want to tell you something about what we've done to the rooms to transition them from a hotel to student housing. So at, behind me you can see the kitchen space, the kitchenette. What we did is we removed that entire wall and we added electricity to that wall, which uh, the electricity in the building was not up to speed, so we had to increase the uh, ampacity of the entire building by 1,000 amps in order to accommodate the refrigerators, the microwaves, the under or the over counter plugs and such. So that wall was opened up. In addition to that, the bathroom ceiling was opened up in order to access the plumbing waste pipes and the vent pipes and also the water pipes. So okay, here's the typical bathroom in Laws Lodge. Every bathroom is exactly the same except for the ADA accessible rooms. So we have our full shower, a commercial flush toilet, a vanity sink, and we have pretty much an endless supply of hot water too. So Welcome to the Laws Lodge study room. We have equipped it with study carols. There are six of those uh, lighted study carols. There are tables for folks who wish to sit at a table and use their laptops and such. There are outlets in the floor for easy access. The room has its own uh, Wi-Fi, so the strength should be good. There should be plenty of Wi-Fi to go around. It's fitted with a dry erase board. And the partition wall has a very high, the highest sound transmission rating. So we expect this to be a very quiet room for students to study in. And here's our, what we're affectionately calling the living room. It's a very spacious area, again, with its own Wi-Fi repeaters and access, cable TV, 265-inch big screen TVs, some comfortable furniture, some uh, storage for board games and that sort of thing. There is a partition wall that can partition the space into two separate rooms. So one room we're calling the living room. The other one is what we're referring to as flexible space. That flexible space can be used for parties. It can be used for exercise. It can be used for yoga. Uh, any anything that the student body or the residents decide that they want to use that room for there's a partition wall to uh, to block it off it's also has a big screen projector that can be utilized to project movies onto a big screen so we're anticipating this room is going to be a getaway for a lot of our residents it's going to be a very comfortable space for them to come watch TV have fellowship with other residents and we're really looking forward to this being a kind of the core of the building. Welcome to the Laws Lodge community kitchen where students can prepare their own meals in a real kitchen. So first over here we have our state-of-the-art exhaust hood and fire suppression system followed by four cooktop ranges with dual ovens When you don't need a full oven, you can use this, what we call a pizza oven. Over here we have the three compartment dishwashing sink for cleaning, rinsing, sanitizing. Over here we have the commercial ice maker with uh, 500 pounds of ice in it. And here we have a glass front refrigerator for storing things uh, prior to cooking or after cooking. Hand washing station. Stainless steel prep table and also a um, 
fire suppression activation switch in case of an emergency. This is the community dining space adjacent to the community kitchen. This is where students can come for a meal and some fun and some fellowship. It comes equipped with microwave ovens, tables and chairs, uh, a board to communicate notes to each other, and we hope a lot of community building takes place in this space. And here we have the laundry facility. It was enlarged during the renovation of Laws Lodge. It has six washers, six dryers, lots of shelving. It has a built-in self-contained air conditioning and heating system. It has a scrub sink. And also you can run the washers and dryers with an app. You don't need coins. And this is our storage facility for Laws Lodge. It's indoors, it's temperature controlled, it's well lit, fully fire sprinkled. We have several four by four by eight foot storage lockers that are lockable by students. Uh, one interesting thing about these storage lockers is they were built in house, but these doors on every storage locker have come from our old housing units. So that's a little wink and a nod to the, to the buildings that we're letting go. Welcome to the chapel at Laws Lodge. It's also known as the meditation room. As we know, worship is a very important part of our community. So this is a place where students can come and they can worship together, they can worship alone, and they can even do practice preaching sessions. Thank you for spending a minute with us as we tour Laws Lodge to see the renovation of the building. I'd like to say a few words of thanks to uh, the contractors who did the work to make this renovation possible. I'd like to thank the administration and the students for their roles. I'd like to thank our donors and our, the friends of our seminary. And we look forward to the Laws Lodge serving in its new role as student housing. And we hope that many memories and friendships and, and a lot of community is made here. Thank you.